Hello again and welcome to another edition of Shed Talk. As you've just seen, I've just been um, clearing out or cleaning out the uh, nursery flight where the youngsters are kept behind me. Um, and that got me thinking. I was just um, thinking how much easier it is to do those daily jobs now that all, most of the breeding cages have been closed down, just got one going, and how much easier that's making life in the bird room. And um, I don't envy those people that have got massive, great big set setups um, and breed all year round because um, it can become very time consuming. And after all, this is uh, just a hobby. So when it becomes a chore, um, it's time to cut down a little bit. So well, what I was what I was thinking of was whilst I was doing that was uh, talking in this video about the various um, routines I have, I suppose, in terms of the bird room. We all have them. It's it's always nice to keep to a nice um, routine, uh, both in terms of those uh, daily routines, so what I do every day in the in the various flights and cages, and then what I do on a, a weekly basis on in the various um, flights and cages as well. And and then, of course, there always are those um, odd jobs that we have to do every every now and then or monthly or whatever. So that's what this video is going to cover, the daily, ta daily tasks and the um, weekly tasks mainly. As always, if you enjoy the video, don't forget you can subscribe to the channel. Just hit the subscribe button. Um, and if you want early notifications, then do just click on the bell. So before we look at the um, routine, I thought I'd just have one of those um, quick teaser questions, particularly now as we're back into showing. Um, and there were some recent posts on Facebook of some success that people have had at the um, those very early shows. And I and I, you know, congratulations to all those people that are uh, winning the various awards. But it was they were posting pictures of their cages and the not just in terms of the um, challenges because that they won but the various dots that were on the cage and it got me um, thinking about the the process of putting dots on on the cage the colored dots on cages so a quick question then just a teaser um, at a budgerigar society show so in the UK what would you it, it mean if the show cage had a red and an orange dot on it. So at a BS um, show, what would it mean if the show cage had a red and an orange dot on it? And the answer to that question will be at the end of the video. So what I'll do now is we'll crack on and talk about the daily tasks that we do. So for me then, um, in terms of the um, routine, the first thing I, I don't want to do doing is trying to do everything um, on a particular day. That way, you know, if you, if you um, for any reason, can't make it on that day or can't do it, you're then having to rearrange everything and, um, and uh, you end up with a big block of, of jobs to do. So I try and split it down reasonably easy, easily across the week. Um, and for that reason, I split my um, shed into, or my sheds into um, various blocks. So I have um, the the, the areas that I tend to think about um, uh, separately and those are the various flights so first of all the, the hen flight um, and then the cock flight uh, the nappy flight and the feet flight so those are my uh, main flights so so each one of them I consider uh, separately particularly in terms of my weekly routine um, and then the other two areas are the breeding cages and I split those in into two so I have a breeding cage, the top row of breeding cages and the bottom row of key cages, so that's three and three. So that gives me um, six key areas um, and I, I do, I focus on one of those areas um, each each day. Leaves me with a Sunday free to um, just chill out and relax or catch up on any of the, the ones that I may have had to miss um, during, during the week. So those are the, the key areas. And as I mentioned, I split it into daily and weekly routine. All of those areas have the same jobs done um, each day. So I have some standard jobs that I do each day. And I'll talk briefly about what those jobs are. So let's talk then about the um, daily routines. And the daily routines are really about feeding, watering, and daily health checks of the birds. So, and I do that for each of the 
the area. So I just I work round and I take out. So I top up any seed in there. And what I tend to do is, is actually completely, particularly in the breeding cages, I will empty the seed out and then refresh it. Um, in the main flights, I will just you know get rid of all the all the old husks um, and then top up as they require it. Um, I do have some quite certainly in the cock um, flight some big seed feeders that hold quite a bit of seed and um, we'll just need topping up what are probably once a week or or a little bit more often depending on the numbers that we've got in there at the moment it's full because none of them are in the breeding cages so so that's the seed feeding and then in terms of soft food so the soft food um, containers and the um, I suppose I call it the supplement seed so the tonic seed that I put in a small small bit of tonic seed those get emptied in, in the morning completely and the dishes get washed out completely that's the breeding cage ones and all of the main flights so including the fink flight so theirs will get emptied as well um, and those dishes get cleaned and fresh dishes are used daily for each of those areas just to try and make sure that the soft food area is kept as clean as possible i just wash it in normal washing up liquid so um and in the sink wife doesn't mind too much so those are the um the uh soft food ones so those are like i say those are cleaned each day um, i'll just show you uh, the bowls that i use just so you can see them That is the bowls that I I use in there. Drinkers, um, I use uh, a number of different types of drinkers. Uh, um, they all work equally as well. So in the main flights, you can see the drinkers that I've got here. They're just the normal um, sort of flow um, drinkers. Uh, those are emptied every day. So I take take them off, empty. They're washed out and then refilled with fresh water. Um, daily that is, so that's across all of the flights except the main cock flight because in the main cock flight I've got a, um, a I suppose almost a reservoir type drinking one so there's a large um, container sealed container of water up high that comes down a tube and into some um, feeders that are, or some drinking nipple type type stuff I'll show you it when we go out and have a look at the, at the um, uh, cock flight um, and uh, so that doesn't that just gets cleaned out so the water in there gets refreshed weekly rather than um, daily and the pipes get cleaned out um, as one of those um, odds and sod type jobs um, every so often about every three months in fact I run through it with some, uh, some baby bottle disinfectant that makes sense so you know the little tablets you can get for baby bottles so um, that's the main drinker so all of that gets done across all the flights all the drinkers get refreshed what this does mean is is any supplements i put in the drinker and i do use a supplement in the drinker um get gets wasted because i'm chucking it away um however i only use a supplement in the drinkers uh, every other day virtually so so it isn't quite as bad but there is some waste there in terms of, but but i think that the, it's important that I do make sure that the drinkers are cleaned out um, daily. So that's my daily run around. And while I'm doing that, I'll then look, check the nest boxes daily in that in the morning um, to make sure the chicks are okay. I'll just have a look around the flights while I'm doing doing that every day and see if there's any birds that are off colour. Make a note that I need to keep an eye on them, or if necessary, take them out of the flight, put them in to uh, separate them, isolate them to make sure that they're okay. This is the drinking system I use in the two main flights. So it has a reservoir at the top, where the, obviously where the water goes, um, and then a tube that runs down to various 
small little nipples on the end. Let's see if I can get a better view of those nipples and then you can see how they work. So here's the nipple, as you can see it's got a little switch here that if I push it down it allows the water to flow. The birds get used to that really really quickly. And that's the system. So that's my daily routine that I will do in each of the flights moving around from one section to the other every morning. Uh, I try to do it first thing in the morning, that way the birds get used to, to when I'm coming into the flight, when the fresh food is, you can see it, the birds will, you know, will be waiting for me to put the um, soft food in first thing in the morning, particularly the finches actually are the main ones that seem to, but also the other birds, so they get used to my routine as well. So for my weekly team, I in effect split the shed and sheds into um, a number of areas. So, and each one of those areas gets a, a deep clean once a week. Um, so that's from Monday through to Saturday, and I give myself um, Sunday to rest or to catch up if I've um, not been able to do one of the deep cleans uh, during the week. So for each of those, as I say, they will get a deep clean at least, sorry, once a week. And that means that all of the feeding utensils and all of the, anything that goes inside the cage, so the seed dishes, the water um, and the uh, soft food dishes will all get thoroughly cleaned. So they will be all be removed and all um, washed up in uh, washing up liquid. So that go deals with all of all of those. And I know some most of those are being washed anyway once a week but that but they will get a thorough another thorough clean sorry the most of those will get a clean um, daily but they'll also get a thorough clean uh, once a week particularly things like the seed dishes and stuff um, and then the other area is in the breeding cages is the trays so those will be removed the um, paper that's in the bottom of them will be chucked away and then the base of them will be scrubbed uh, all wrong will be scraped and then will be disinfected with um, uh, uh, V10 um, solution, uh, sorry, V18 solution, which is what I use for um, as a disinfectant. Uh, for the flights, so inside the flights, they will be um, uh, the same, same thing. So all of the seed hoppers in the flights and the um, feed, any other feeding stuff will also be taken out and will be uh, cleaned and washed and the seed will then be refreshed so that happens in all of the flights and also the floors of the flights will be um, at the will be cleared so all the uh, bedding that I put on the bottom of the flight will be removed um, the flight will then be um, scraped the flight floor will be scraped and scrubbed if necessary so if there is any difficult areas I will scrub it again I will douse it down with um, VAT, uh, VAT and um, scrub it if necessary the perches will get cleaned, cleaned out as well and uh, then I will once it's all nice and dry I will relay um, the bedding um, I'll show you what I use for the bedding and for the various items that I use for, for generally uh, cleaning cleaning round in a second um, so that's what I will do with all of the um, all, all of the flights and that happens at least once a week so a deep clean once a week and that really is um, my routine like so my daily and my weekly routine uh, so here are the things that I, I use for cleaning. I've got here some hand gel as well, um, just so you can see it. And the hand gel uh, is, is really there, so if in between cages or in between handling birds, I will use the hand gel. 
I also use that um, hand gel disinfectant to um, clean off the, um, the judging stick that I use um, between um, move, when I'm moving from one case to another if I'm judging uh, or looking at the birds and want them to move and having to use a stick for it. So that's what I will use. So hand gel, um, we've all got loads of it now, haven't we? Um, no. So uh, that I have that in the, in the shed uh, and will be used uh, in between handling birds, like I say. Um, the V18, V18 that I use, um, uh, this is the bottle that I, I normally get, lasts quite a while. Um, for the um, flights and that I will dilute it down so that um, and put it into a spray bottle. Here's a spray bottle that I use, just an old disinfectant bottle that has been washed out. Put it into there. Um, I use about a capful for um, for this size um, bottle and then fill it up with just with cold water um, and I then just spray down the various bits and pieces uh, as I'm as I'm going along and as necessary so things like the bottom of the breathing cages and the perches and then just wipe them over. It is a safe disinfectant for birds. Um, so that's my daily routine, that's the stuff that I use to aid with my daily routine. Well, I hope you um, enjoyed that very short video. The only other thing I will say is that um, when I'm finished breeding and I'm cleaning the cages, and I'm going to be doing that shortly, so I, I will add a little a little bit of this to another video, um, is the floors of the cages in between um, breeding and all of the cage will get a really thorough disinfectant in bleach. Um, and I use just a straightforward, neat, bleach in a small bowl, small tray, douse them in it, scrub them, leave them to soak if I if I can um, in it for a period of time um, uh, just to make sure that anything that's been on that cage is cleaned off and any um, uh, disease that any of the birds may or may not have had when they've been in the breeding cage, cages is thoroughly cleaned so or is, is, is destroyed. So a straight bleach solution is what I will use in when I'm cleaning the breeding cages out in, um, at the end of the breeding season. I mentioned at the beginning of the um, video what, what would it mean if a show cage had a, a red dot uh, on it and an orange dot on it. So the red dot is um, stands for um, best in colour. So if you've got a red dot, done really really well on the bird. So the red dot is best in colour and the orange dot is best in colour any age. It can have it can have both on it. So you know if it wins best in colour any age and then wins best in colour it will have a red and an orange dot on it. So red dot best in colour, orange dot best in colour any age. Um, we'll we'll perhaps carry revisit the um, the um, dot system um, in another in another video. So there we are. That's that's all we got time for in this video. Like I say, if you if, hope you hope you enjoyed it. Um, uh, I've been asked to do a video on show bird preparation, so I'm in the process of doing that um, as we speak. So hopefully that will be out within the next week or two. So don't forget to subscribe um, if you don't want to miss that um, video, the show preparation video. Um, I'm also off to a, a show very shortly, Northampton show very shortly. So I will probably take some videos of the birds while I'm there. Um, and maybe I'll just pop that up as a in, in between um, the main videos, just do uh, a quick video of, of the Northampton show. So um, until the next video, uh, please do stay safe and enjoy your birds.